Okay, everyone, let's take a look at chapter 12, Troubleshooting with PLC Software. The viewing screen contains multiple elements that allow a program to be viewed in a window. Programming software contains many features found in other Windows-based software products. Programming software contains specific menus, toolbars, and windows that technicians must understand how to use. Programming software contains dialog boxes that allow the user to make choices and enter information. Some dialog boxes contain multiple pages. Many software debugging features can be accessed with the right mouse button. Temporary end or TND instructions are useful when debugging programs, especially large programs that contain several different machines or processes. The cross-reference function only provides a cross-reference of all instructions with the same address. The results are displayed in the cross-reference report window. The find all function provides a list of instructions with the same address regardless of the type of instruction. The results are displayed in the result window. The go to data table function accesses the data table for the instructions selected. The menu options for the force function depends on whether or not a force is already being applied. A force input affects all input instructions with the same address. A single force input can affect many instructions throughout a program. A force output only affects the output instruction. Instructions with the same address as the force output have an on or off adjacent to them, but they are not affected. The Help Topics dialog box uses more than one method to locate information. The F1 key generates a window containing help information based on what dialog box, instruction, view, or window is selected. All right, everyone, that was it for that session. Next will be chapter 13, Analog Principles, and I will see you over there.